Prepare to embark on a deeply personal and extended journey into the extraordinary life of Florence Nightingale, an icon whose story is as inspiring as it is enigmatic. Join us for this immersive exploration of the Lady with the Lamp. We'll be releasing more videos like this in the coming weeks, so if you don't want to miss a beat, hit the subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, today we embark on a journey into the extraordinary life of Florence Nightingale, a name synonymous with compassion, courage and the unwavering dedication to saving lives. Her story is one of selfless sacrifice, resilience and a burning desire to bring light to the darkest of places. Our story begins on May 12, 1820, in Florence, Italy, where Florence Nightingale was born to a wealthy British family. Ironically, the city of her birth would later become synonymous with her name. Florence, or Flo as her friends affectionately called her, grew up in an era when societal expectations for women were as confining as a straitjacket. Florence's early years were marked by a profound sense of purpose, Despite the rigid norms of her time, she felt a calling to care for the sick and vulnerable. It was as if a flicker of divine guidance ignited within her, leading her towards a path that would forever alter the course of nursing and healthcare. In an age when upper-class women were expected to focus solely on marriage and social etiquette, Florence was a rebel with a cause. She rejected the societal pressure to conform and embarked on a quest for knowledge. She devoured literature on healthcare, nursing and hospital management, her voracious appetite for learning rivaling that of a scholar. It was in 1844, at the tender age of 24, that Florence began her formal nursing training at the Institution of Protestant Deaconesses in Kaiserswerth, Germany. This decision was as groundbreaking as it was courageous. Nursing at the time was perceived as a lowly occupation, often associated with women of lower social standing. The year 1854 marked a pivotal moment in Florence's life, when she received a letter that would set her on an unprecedented path. Britain was at war with Russia in what would be known as the Crimean War. The British Army faced a dire shortage of trained nurses, and conditions in the military hospitals were nothing short of appalling. Florence, with her unwielding determination and deep sense of duty, answered the call. She and a team of 38 volunteer nurses were dispatched to the British military hospital in Scutari, a place teeming with disease, filth and suffering. It was during this time that Florence earned her enduring nickname the Lady with the Lamp. Picture her, a beacon of hope in the midst of chaos walking through the dimly lit wards at night, tending to the wounded and dying. Her presence was a ray of solace in a sea of despair. Florence's time in Scutari was both a baptism by fire and a revelation. She implemented hygiene practices, improved sanitation and tirelessly advocated for the well-being of her patients. Her meticulous record-keeping, which was as precise as a Swiss watch, revealed shocking statistics about the impact of poor sanitation on patient mortality. With the support of her findings, Florence initiated a crusade for hospital reform, demanding cleaner, more organized and better equipped healthcare facilities. Her relentless pursuit of reform became a battle against bureaucratic indifference and resistance. In the midst of her efforts, Florence faced immense personal challenges. She was often ill herself, and the emotional toll of witnessing the suffering of soldiers weighed heavily on her heart. Her letters home bore witness to her anguish, but they also revealed a strong commitment to her mission. She wrote, When I am no longer even a memory, just a name, I hope my voice may perpetuate the great work of my life. God bless my dear old comrades of Balaclava and bring them safe to shore. Florence's relentless advocacy for tireless work laid the foundation for modern nursing. She established the Nightingale Training School for Nurses at St. Thomas's Hospital in London, where her principles of cleanliness, compassion and professional integrity were instilled in generations of nurses. As Florence's health declined in her later years, she became increasingly reclusive, 
yet her spirit remained undiminished. She once said, I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. These words resonate not only as a testament to her work, but as an enduring source of inspiration for all who strive to make the world a better place. On August 13, 1910, Florence Nightingale, the angel of the Crimea, peacefully passed away at the age of 90. Her legacy, however, endures. Her pioneering efforts transformed nursing into a respected profession, and her commitment to the welfare of patients laid the foundation for modern healthcare. Florence Nightingale's name shines as an historic beacon of hope, a symbol of compassion, and a reminder that one person's unwavering dedication can improve the lives of those who suffer. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you want to see more stories like this, hit the subscribe button. This video is provided by Prodia Santé, ethical recruitment of doctors worldwide. Visit prodiasante.com to find your next medical role, or just to get to know us better. See you next time.